And also, man, don't go crazy, you know what I'm saying? These local countries, they have their own economy set up, you know what I'm saying? In some places, for instance, in the DR, you know, average person pays between $100 and $200 a month for rent, you know what I'm saying? So if you, you know, Papi De Nero, you come down here, you know what I'm saying? You spending, you know, two, $300 on a female in the day, man, you just blowing things way out of proportion. You know what I'm saying? You're messing up the economy, the local economy. So now, the next guy comes down, these women are gonna expect way more than uh, probably ever seen. I watch the whole video if you want to, but this guy is basically complaining about coochflation. Okay, he goes down to the Dominican Republic for coochie for two or $300 a day, which is what these women can pay their rent in. And then you, Poppy De Niro, you come down from America with all your, your big spending and you're spending four, five, six hundred dollars on the coochie. And next time he comes down, now the price of the cooch done went up. What he used to get for two, three hundred, now they're asking for six. And when you're getting up to those prices, well, at that rate, you might as well deal with an American woman. And he's, from what I can tell, very serious. He's like, I come down here because the American women ain't rocking with me. I can get these women two, three Honda a day, have myself a funky good time. But here y'all go trying to flex. And you're raising the price. You're messing up the whole ecosystem. It's like if you take too many fish out and you overfish, then other animals are affected, the algae and all that. This is the coochie. Come on, man. Be respectful of the economy. Huh? Going down there wild and throwing money around, you are going to upset things and upset things to the point where now the women in these countries are going to start to turn into what you guys dislike about American women. All right, I just want to put it out there that looks like I'm going to have to do a two for one with this particular episode. I'm going to do a two for one. All right, we're going to start with the brother with the red shirt who's lamenting that his, well, apparently it seems like he's lamenting and having a lack of funds to engage in, uh, you know, sexual activity with some of the uh, women for hire down there. All right, that's what, that's what I get out of it, you know. He's talking about tricking and simping can ruin your paradise and shit. He's tricking and simping and shit. You know, one of the first things, you know, as far as advice, uh, don't look like prey, okay? Don't look like prey, okay? Don't be an obvious mark and shit, okay? Have some street, some streets knowledge, okay? Anybody can get a passport and travel overseas and shit, but you have to keep your head on the swivel and shit, okay, bro? All right, looking like a giant toddler is not going to help you. Looking like a giant thirsty toddler is going to, well, it's going to be dangerous and shit for you, okay? All right? I don't give a fuck what you do with your money. Uh, tricking it off or whatever, just having a straight up vacation, whatever. I don't call it, you know, you know, I don't call it passport bros and shit. And I sure as fuck ain't calling it passport boys and shit because that's just some shit that the minority, majority, you know, try to, try to make a thing and shit because... They pissed off somebody doing what they were doing for, like, you know, decades and shit, you know, and nobody's talking shit about them because black women, a lot of black women worship the ground they walk on, and they, they are above reproach, even when it's detrimental to their own situation and shit. So, you know, I call not the hypocrisy there and shit, but, you know, maybe you shouldn't dress like a giant, you know, a giant 10-year-old and shit, you know? You know, get, get your shit together, okay? Like, look, you don't even look relaxed. You're in another country. You're on vacation and shit. You should relax. But stay you on the hunt and shit, okay? Got your mouth hanging over, looking thirsty and shit. You remind me of somebody in my fucking family. They used to do this shit. You know, he had that Homer Simpson look when, when he was looking at a fucking donut or something. And it just made me sick and shit, okay? You know, being the geek underground and everything. You know, I had a lot of, uh, you know involuntary uh i was putting a lot of involuntary boxes and shit obviously didn't fit in i was a hybrid you know i was that dangerous geek you know i was that dangerous you know i was that motherfucker i was that guy all right and i don't know how the fuck i don't have a police record it's a goddamn miracle yeah this guy looks like a thirsty simp okay he looks like a thirsty simp and shit you know i'm gonna talk about his facial hair or nothing you know, just, you know, he just looks like he just came out of his house. And he's got a little hat on backwards and everything. He, his lip is hanging. He let his lip fucking hang. Shit look like steak fat. 
and he down here walking around looking sad, you know, with a sad face, and somebody gonna pray on your fucking ass, okay, bro? I'm not saying this shit because I dislike your shit. I might dislike you. I might dislike you just a little bit and shit, you know, just for the narrative that you, you're posting this shit on social media. Tricking and simping can ruin your paradise and shit, but you're tricking and simping and shit. No, first rule of tricking and simping and shit is like the Fight Club. You don't fucking talk about this shit. You, just, you don't see these sisters on here bitching about how much they paid them yardies and shit to give them a limestone massage. Okay, you just see them doing shit, you know? You see women doing shit. I hate it in our community and shit when, you know, you, you knuckle draggers, you know, snap to form and shit and live down to the expectations of these Miss Sanders black women that want to hang these fucking tropes on around our neck like a fucking millstone and shit, okay? I fucking dislike it. Okay, I dislike you for that. Okay? And this is my opinion, okay? You know, I'm not I'm just with shit on a man's uh, attire and shit, but to me, he looks like a giant toddler, okay, with his fucking mouth hanging open and his, his crestfallen expression and shit. Oh, I can't buy no pussy. Oh. Don't worry. If you walk around long enough, you take a couple walks around the area and shit, you'll meet somebody that's willing to take you on. It won't be anyone that you actually wanted. You'll have to settle. And then that will be a defeat of you and shit because you left your country to go over there and, and, and be with somebody that you actually wanted to be with and shit. But you don't you don't have the funds and shit. And you don't have the wherewithal to, you know, rug sweep that shit, you know, and just chalk it up to a situation, chalk it up to a learning experience and shit. You gotta get on social media with your feminized energy and complain about your lack of funds and shit, okay? And you're you're you know that what you do, these misandrists, you know, these black identity extremists, these female black identity extremists feed on that shit, okay? It's negative validation and shit. First rule of, of you know, any of just our plain existence is to deny them a crumb of what they want. And here you are giving it up for free. And now for, you know, my part two and shit. And the reason I actually made the video and shit is because of this fucking guy. This fucking guy, man. He's like, uh, he's a comedian, supposedly. He's a comedian and shit. And he's one like, uh, um, the NAACP, uh, image award. Not, I, I think you guys know how I feel about the NAACP. You know, that's like, that, that shit is, it means nothing. It's fool's gold that he's holding in his goddamn hand and shit, you know? It's fool, fool's gold. Here we have another feminized Negro, and he looks similar to the first motherfucking shit, except that he's a little more cleaned up. You know, a fat, jolly guy, you know, with a dad bod. You know, probably not even, you know, young enough to be my son. He's probably young enough to be my son, and he's just a, a fucking simp. All right, he's a goddamn simp and a pocket watcher. I I cannot, I don't ride with motherfuckers that do this kind of shit. Okay, I don't ride with it. I think it's I think it's shitty to sit up and uh, bitch about you know what men are doing and shit. You know what we go through every fucking day if you're black, if you were born in this goddamn country and shit. You know what we grew up in the system that we grew up in the matriarchal society that we grew up in, and you want to have it be grist for your, your uh, comedy routine and shit, and you ain't even fucking funny. I'm like, that make me laugh, nigga. They used to have a show. You know, I'm so old that I remember that they used to have a fucking show called Make Me Laugh, and they had like Howie Mandel and Billy Crystal and some other motherfuckers on there and shit. Yeah, I'm that fucking old and shit. I'm, I'm gonna be 54, you know, real soon and shit, like next month, as a matter of fact. All right, and I gotta look at this shit. I'm so tired of you, you, you fucking bootlicks and shit, you know? You're fucking bootlick. You're weak. Are right, you weak. Every time that you hooked up with a woman, you had to lead with your goddamn wallet. And nobody didn't judge you for that. I'm not judging you for that. You're a sad piece of shit, okay? You're sad, okay? That's a story here in the colonies and shit. Is that we're trying to, to devalue their goddamn system. We're trying to pull the plug on these women and shit, okay? That's why a lot of dudes are making this, 
you know, making their stand on this passport bro thing and shit. And just shunning the motherfuckers and blackpilling it. You know, because we're tired. Nobody wants to marry a, a hooker, okay? You pay a hooker for a time and you move on. Okay? You don't you don't make a hoe into a housewife. It's impossible. Okay, it's impossible. But you wouldn't know that because you married to a fucking mummy. Alright? You marry, I seen your wife and shit, man. Okay? Yeah, love that. Yeah, that's that struggle love and shit. How do you like that if somebody get personal, like you're getting personal with a group of men you don't know? Just leave us the fuck alone and shit. Yeah, you you got an NAACP image award. You got that shit and like, that's the same organization that like is uh, talking shit about reparations, talking down on reparations and just doing the most and being, you know, out and open with their, you know, glad handing and shit of white supremacy and shit. You know, looking out for themselves and shit. All right, here we got, you know, a loser. You know, you don't, you, you're not smart enough to write some decent material and shit. Okay, even if you are taking it from current current events and everything, this is the low hanging fruit. And you, you, what the who the fuck are you, man? You pay for every bit of pussy you ever had. Okay, <laughs> get the fuck out, man. I look at this guy, he's pathetic. He's pathetic, man. It's a fat piece of shit. And I look at this, I went and looked at his goddamn TikTok page. I looked at some of his other social media, and it made me laugh because it's so it's so fucking pathetic. He does that self-depreciating thing. He knows he's non-select. That if he didn't have any kind of a celebrity about him himself, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't get no cheeks. You know, he makes fun of his own dead bod. Okay? He makes fun of clean your shit up, okay? You get the same advice as the first asshole about your presentation and shit, okay? Get you a decent comedy writer, okay? You're you're not funny. Why don't you take some acting classes? Maybe that'll help. Okay, even when you was talking about the other brother, you you were lacking in shit. Because you guys you guys could be brothers and shit. You should be roommates together and shit. You know, with your mummy of a fucking wife. Yeah, this guy has a fucked up looking wife, man. I hate to see that shit. You know, I hate to say it, man. But I'm tired. I'm tired of the emotional fucking abuse that we go through every goddamn day. You know, the fucking wife calls herself Miss Kevin. Mrs. Kev on stage, but we know she wears the pants in the family. We know who lays on their back and takes it Amazon style. It's this fat, pathetic looking motherfucker right here. You're a loser, dude. This is the first chick that, you know, <laughs> she is the first chick that pulled your, your player card and shit. Okay? You, you guys, I can't say you make a... You know, I if I look at you and I tell you that you make, you and her make a nice couple. Now, I might as well just look at, you know, after I get through doing a, a number two, I should look at what's in there and tell it it's it's a, a nice couple too and shit. Okay? Basically, what I'm saying is, fuck you.